everyone, my name is Dion David and for today's video, I will be performing the assessment of the skin, hair, and nails. Here is my complete uniform. The equipment I have prepared are the following. First is clean gloves. I am going to use this to palpate the head, the hair, the feet, and lesions if there are any. Next, what I have is face mask. This is to protect me and the patient from any contagious diseases. Next, what I have here is a well-lighted room and an examination light. I improvised one. So this is to help the examiner see or inspect the findings clearly and accurately. And last, what I have here is a six inch ruler this is to measure moles and lesions if there are any. Austin Matthew A. Gaviris, and I am 19 years old. Okay, my name is Dion and I will be your student nurse for today. So, do you want me to close the door so we can have privacy? Um, yes please, it would be better. Okay. Okay, so today we are going to assess your skin, hair, and nails. But I'm going to start off by asking you a few questions. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Any problems with your skin, hair, or nails? Uh, none that I know of, no. Um, do you have any lesions, bruises, or moles? I have a few moles that popped up during the years, but I don't have any bruises right now. Um, do you dye your hair? Uh, I do not dye my hair, sorry. Are you experiencing hair loss? Uh, no, I don't think so. Any change in color in your nails? Uh, I have not recently. It doesn't really change colors. Okay. Um, any medications? Uh, I do not take any medications besides the occasional vitamins. Do you recall having bruises? Uh, I've had a few in the past few weeks but I don't have any right now. Okay. Any previous surgeries? Uh, I've had a surgery here because of my appendicitis, which they had to take my appendix removed. Okay. Um, have you had any skin, hair, or nails problems? Uh, besides pimples, none that I can think of, no. Okay. Does any member of your family have skin cancer? Uh, no, they do not. Or any problems with hair and nails? Uh, no, none. Besides receding hair loss from my lolo, okay. nobody else has. Okay. Um, what are your summer activities? I like to play basketball, work out, and go swimming. Okay. Um, you mentioned that you swim and play mm. basketball. Do you yes. apply sunscreen? Uh, when I'm at the beach, yes, but not when I'm playing basketball, no. Okay, how often do you take a bath? A day, twice at the very least. Okay. Um, what are the products that you apply in your skin? Any lotions? Or? I only use Kojic Sun as my soap and that's about it. Okay, um, do you practice any diet? Uh, no, I do not, besides bulking. <laughs> okay, how about exercise? Uh, yes, I work out six times a week. Okay. Now, we're going to proceed with the assessment of your skin, hair, and nails. And this procedure will inform us of your skin, hair, and nails condition. 
and the unusual findings will be followed up with the focus assessment, okay? Okay. Okay, so there are times where and I will be needing to look at your back, your chest, and your underarms. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, so let's start off with assessing your skin. Uh -huh. um, could you put up your feet here? Uh -huh. There? Okay. So, could you um, lean back? Okay. Looking at the general color of your skin, it is medium tone and which is type 3. Mm. Okay, I see no erythema, no pallor, and no cyanosis, which is normal. Okay, now I'm going to check any pigmentations or scars. Okay. Can I put up your shirt? Yeah. Okay. Okay. There are some papules on the chest and no moles on the chest. Can I put up your shirt? Yep. And check your back. Okay, so there are few moles, but it seemed to be less than 6 millimeters, which is normal. And there are some papules as well. There are no scars or any bruises. Okay. Now I'm going to start palpating your skin. Could you put up your feet for me again? Okay. Okay, thank you. First, I'm going to um, assess the texture of your skin. Okay. It is smooth to touch. And there are no rough areas except for the areas with papules. Okay, so your skin is normal. Now I'm going to assess the moisture of your skin. Okay, it is dry but not too dry and not too sweat. Um, too sweaty skin. It may be a sign of hyperthyroidism and too dry skin may be a sign of any endocrine problem or hypothyroidism. Okay, his skin is dry and normal. Now I'm go going to assess the temperature of your skin. I will be using the dorsal part of my hands because it is sensitive to temperature because it has thin layer of skin. Okay. Now I'm going to check the temperature. Okay, the temperature is warm, but not too warm and not too cold. Um, very warm skin may be a sign of um, fever or very cold skin may be a sign, sign of any shock. Okay. Now I'm going to check for your mobility and turgor. Sir, could you lie down for me? Okay. Just right here. Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to check for the mobility and turgor of your skin. So for the mobility, I'm going to check if it's easy to pinch and I'm going to check it here in the clavicle area. Okay, it is easy to pinch and trigger if it comes back quickly. Okay, it goes back to its normal shape quickly. So his mobility and trigger skin is normal. Skin is type 3 which is medium toned. It is warm, smooth, well hydrated and there are no scars with papules on the chest, abdomen, and back area. Skin is dry, it is not too dry, and it is not too sweaty. Skin is intact, and there is no erythema, no pallor, and no cyanosis. With few moles at the back and are circle in shape, all are symmetrical, has border that is regular, it is dark brown, it is 1 millimeters in size, and everything is not elevated. The skin has intact skin mobility or the skin is easily pinched. 
the skin has intact skin trigger or the skin immediately returns to the normal shape when pinched. Also, there are no odors emanating from the skin. Now I'm going to assess his hair. Okay. His hair is straight, black, and it is oily and shiny. I see no parasites and there are a few dandruff. Okay, so I'm gonna inspect his scalp. His scalp has no flaky textures. There are no scaly textures, there are no lesions, no scars, and no bruises. There are no signs of balding, patchy alopecia, and any parasites. Okay, since there are no parasites, I will check if his hair is smooth or coarse. Okay, the patient's hair is smooth. Now, sir, could you put up your feet for me? I'm gonna check your hair distribution. Okay. Okay, could you take off your shirt for me? Okay, looking at his hair distribution, in the lower extremities, it is even and it is normal. And in the axilla, or in the underarms, it is normal and it is evenly distributed. And the, in the other axilla, it is evenly distributed as well. Okay, so overall hair is evenly distributed, which is normal. Now for the hair, hair is black, smooth, shiny, thick, oily, and straight. Scalp is clean and dry, there are no flaky, no scaly textures, no scars, and no lesions. Hair has few dandruffs, no parasites, and no lice. Hair is evenly distributed on scalp, axilla, and other parts of the body, especially the lower extremities. As I inspect his body, there are no unusual growth of hair. Now I'm going to check his lower extremities to check for any edema or swelling and inflammation. Now I'm going to check if there is any edema here in his lower extremities and I'm going to check both sides simultaneously to check if it's symmetrical or not. I'm going to use my thumbs to check if there are any indentations. Okay. Okay. Okay, the skin is getting back to its normal shape quickly, which is normal. And there are no indentations left as I palpate. Since there are no indentations left, the patient has no edema. There is no edema in the lower extremities. The skin rebounds immediately and does not remain indented when pressure is released. Okay, now I'm going to assess his nails, both the fingernails and toenails. I'm going to check for three aspects for inspection. First is the grooming and cleanliness. Next is the color of the nails. And lastly, the shape and contour. I'm also going to check for his capillary refills and I'm going to do a chamra test. First is I'm going to check the grooming and cleanliness of his fingernails. His fingernails are neatly trimmed but there are parts that has nail polish and next is the nail color and markings. His nail color is pink in color. It's pink toned which is normal and any pale nail color is maybe a sign of hypoxia any yellow nail color is maybe fungal infection and for aged yellow nail is normal 
So for him, it is pink toned and it is normal for his age. And lastly, I'm going to check for the shape and contour. Um, his nails seem to be 160 degree angle between the nail bed and the skin. And the other one, his nails are seem to be 160 angle from the nail bed as well. I'm going to palpate his fingernails to check the texture and consistency. Okay. His nails are smooth and hard and immobile, which is normal. And it is well attached to the nail beds. Any detachment of the nails may be a sign of infection or trauma. Okay, now I'm gonna check for capillary refills. Now, the nail bed color should return back for less than 1 to 3 seconds. Okay, so let's check for the capillary refills. Okay, the blood goes back quickly less than two seconds or three and it is normal okay okay so everything is normal I'm going to check for the shamrock test. Sir, could you put your fingernails together like this? Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, so there is a diamond between the nails, which is normal, and that he is negative of nail clubbing. Versus the grooming and cleanliness of his nails, his nails are... Some of his nails are not neatly trimmed, and... Next is the color. The color of his nails is pink in color, pink tone, which is normal. And lastly, the shape and contour. The angle of his nails is seem to be 160 angle between the nail bed, which is normal. Okay, now I'm going to palpate for the texture and consistency. His toenails are hard smooth and immobile and it is well attached to the nail bed now i'm going to check for the capillary refills of his toenails okay the blood goes back immediately also here 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 and here it goes back less than three seconds which is normal for his other foot, the blood goes back immediately here in his veins, which is normal. Now for the nails. Nails are pink tone in color, smooth, hard, and immobile. Fingernails are neatly trimmed, and the fingernails are unclean since there are some parts with red nail polish. Fingernails are without de deformity as well as the toenails. Toenails are not neatly trimmed and are dirty. The shape and contour of the nails, both fingernails and toenails, are 160 angle between the nail bed. The nails, both the fingernails and toenails, are well attached to the nail bed. There is no nail clubbing or the patient is negative in the Shamroth test. Capillary refills on both the fingernails and toenails are less than two seconds. Okay, the assessment is done. Thank you very much, Mr. Austin Gabiernes. Thank you too.
After the assessment, I should now report the significant findings that needs immediate attention to the nurse supervisor or physician. But for Mr. Gavieras, there are no significant findings that needs immediate attention other than his papules on the chest, abdomen, and back area.